while it is 6 a.m., uh, six hours into the uh, 24th day of June, uh, we are now at another transition point. Uh, ended up uh, uh, doing a little bit more work than I expected to, uh, mostly filing and uh, some organizational work. Uh, so now I'm on to the next stop, which is uh, bed. Now I'm going to trans transition into the other uh, realm and see what happens there. So this is kind of... Uh, well, this is how you trans, how, how I transition. And well, I did a good job on your YouTube stroll. I went further than I, than I expected to go. But I do have uh, some uh, other administrative work that I have to get done on get done on the YouTube stroll. But uh, thing uh, as things stand, things are progressing. Well, I had removed over the weekend 80 gigabytes worth of files from here. Clips uh, from uh, uh, Our Life of Cyborg Alpha that uh, will eventually be going up. Anyways, it is the 27th of June. It is 21 hours and 7 minutes into the day. It's uh, 9.07 p.m. Oh. Uh, I thought of vlog here because if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't have another segment to put in. Uh, there are going to be a couple of days <laughs> missing because uh, it, that's the way sometimes things go. There are, isn't a point in time to sit down and vlog, and so there are gaps in the vlog. But then again, because I'm, I merge everything together, and you also have the the road vlogs, um, you've got enough content. But there's actually more content coming. More is being developed. Uh, as I reorganize my desk, as I reorganize my editing bay, do some more clearing of files so that I do have things more organized, uh, you will be getting more. And it's going to be a little slower this, sum this summer, in this period now during the summer, but I do need to slow down. I, I, I sometimes, particularly during the winter, push myself too hard. Uh, I don't take the breaks that I should be taking, so I don't have weekends or anything like that. Uh, and it's just because, again, this is like the vlogging. You intend to take the weekend. You intend to say, take some time off. But it just doesn't end up working out the way that, that way. So uh, then you have to, in the summer, catch up for it. So we are having our summertime. And uh, uh, now we move on to Yelly Vlogs on the YouTube Store. We're beginning the YouTube Store. We'll see how far we get. I am feeling more awake, but uh, uh, we'll see what the uh, next few hours bring, and we'll come back to you uh, sometime around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, at 5 hours uh, into the 28th day of June, the heat has finally arrived, and it's now very hot in here, so <laughs> that's where things are at the moment. Uh, and I'm just now transitioning to bed. I don't necessarily feel tired, but uh, the latest chunk of work is done. I just finished pouring off another batch of tea. I think I'll probably start again tomorrow with another batch. Uh, it is that when it gets hot, the iced tea does cool you off. It does create an endothermic reaction within the system and uh, uh, makes you much cooler so oh, as compared to last year uh, the satin sheets I have wicks heat away from the body so that reduces the temperature and then I have a draft that comes through here uh, because uh, I, with a new air system that I have it creates a flow of air that goes from the front to the back and uh, that also cools the place up because you, you now have a wind chill effect. So, um, yay for that. Uh, I do have to do make some adjustments to the system uh, tomorrow, but uh, then that's always tomorrow. So, uh, not really tomorrow, but <laughs> when I when I get up again, I, and I, I might be in a couple of hours. But right now, my sleeping periods, my sleep uh, in terms of being on the in the other realm. I'm sleeping in three-hour chunks. That's currently with the way it is. What's going to happen today? I don't really know. 
it will kind of sort of have to play that by ear and however I feel I feel and when people tell you, when they stay up all night, they get knocked out. They don't function well the next day. And the problem is, is that this is my standard. This is what I typically do. Is that, is that, that I don't sleep long hours. I don't sleep long enough in terms of the actual restful sleep. And, and so uh, I'm in a continual state of, well, sleep deprivation. It just, some days are better and some days are worse. And it really depends on how much actually builds up so uh, this is where the summer comes in and summer get, is where I sort of begin to catch up on some of my sleep deprivation and um, I have to adjust my diet in terms of the amount of energy you have in order to meet with this reality in other words your diet really does have an impact on how much energy your body has and how your body actually uses energy. And so uh, you can, you know, sit down and look at the physio physiological effects of the different foods you're eating or drinking. And then design the, the diet, one, one only, one for the amount of energy you'll need for the, for the time period, particularly if you are in a more sleep deprived mode. It's more a sleep deprived mode, you're going to have to have more energy uh, just simply to get through that period. Uh, but you can, you don't want to sort of, you don't want to sort of increase the amount of so called body fat. Uh, particularly now, this is where you want to start shedding the body fat. So uh, the tea will have, ends up help, helping that out because it's got enough nutrients that it's basically a meal on a glass and uh, you got a, a day's full, a, a day's amount of nutrients within that glass of, uh, of uh, well, this is Chinese tea here. Uh, I'm decided to make the the, the Indian cha, uh, Indian cha, or the chai, uh, as soups. So that will be hot, but that won't be until the winter. So for now, it's this is this is what it is. So. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to end this here. Hopefully I'll come back again. Uh, maybe in bed as a transition or maybe in the kitchen. We'll see how things work out. Because there's still a lot of work that really needs to be done. Uh, to sort of uh, measure out how things are going to get done. And in other words, in terms of the scheduling and so on and so forth. So uh, that's it for now. And I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's still the 28th today. <laughs> I don't know what day it is because I just got... I, I, well, I got up a while ago, but I got up around uh, 2, 2.30. Uh, did the meditation, did the gaming, did the... Uh, I, I finished the back door, uh, the back, uh, the, the, putting in the new uh, airflow system. Uh, I still have some work to do on it, but the majority of the work is already done. Uh, and now we've got a package in there. It went to the front and the, uh, well, there was a package there, so. I have an idea what it is. I ordered some more mirrors for the scooter. And I'm pretty sure that's what these are. These are the mirrors. I'll probably have to put them on, uh, tonight and tomorrow. Ugh. And of course, I have. Uh, I'll, I'll be featuring some of the stuff on Instagram. Uh, also, doing uh, not much of, so much of a review, but rather showing you how they work. That, it, that once I get something that's good and it works in my life, then I will, uh, you know, post a review, a, a larger review on it, because I'll show it. It will be within the life. It will be, in, you know, within our life. So uh, this is the part, the package here. Uh, let me give you a better show. There's nothing to the package in terms of uh, maybe a barcode or something like that. But uh, other than that, uh, there's nothing much to the package. It's, it's pretty much sealed up. So I will deal with this later. I won't do that do that right now because I do have to sort of get it out. And uh, But it is the mirrors. And uh, that's going to be... Uh, it for now. I'm off to my parents, so I'll be doing the uh, scooting vlog. And uh, we're getting more into the definition of theology. And it changes because... Oh, 
because there is no proof for athe for atheology for atheism, atheism becomes a religion, and therefore you bring it into the realm of theology. It is with a person who doesn't believe in God, so uh, <laughs> that causes a lot of problems. But in terms of for them, because they fundamentally don't exist. Uh, but if that's what you want, then, you know, hey, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. And so, uh, anyways, uh, I will see you in a couple hours when I get back from my parents' house. I will probably uh, open this up more and uh, look into it and sort of see uh, what it's all about. So I'll do the unpackaging in another, in another spot and uh, go from there. Anyways, uh, I will see you uh, in, well... Oh, about six, seven hours uh, when I get back tonight. Well, it is July 2nd. It is uh, four hours and ten minutes into the day. Uh, I didn't do much. There were transition points that I could have logged at, but I didn't. And that's the same thing here. There were the transition points where I could have logged at. Other things ended up filling their place and feel like it's Oh, so the vlog didn't occur. It's just, uh, I'm packing to go to my second place up north, and, uh, uh, so that took a bit of time. Uh, I got everything I needed, more or less. Uh, I do have to do a network audit when I come back, uh, to upgrade the network and sort of move to the, uh, I'm going to move to a 10 terabyte, uh, system. That's what the plan is now, so that my notebook is large enough to handle all the various different things that are going on. So, uh, it is the Canada Day and 4th of July weekend, so, uh, uh, not much is actually going to be going on in terms of what's going on in the environment, in terms of the world, you know, what vlogging and so on and so forth, in terms of, in terms of the YouTube stroll. Uh, and work that I have to be here for, so uh, I haven't been there in a couple of years, so I've got to do a lot of fixing up. I'm sort of planning for that, and uh, we'll end up seeing what happens. So, uh, see you uh, probably when I vlog next, I'll probably be up north at my uh, other place, and you'll be able to see that. Why well, this is as good as it's going to get. Uh it's rather dark here. I'll have to use an editor to change this. It is uh, 23 hours and 10 minutes into the fourth day of July, and I've been up north in my trailer in my uh, second research facility, uh, bringing it back uh, after two years of dormancy. Uh, things never go as expected, but things do go. Things do progress. And this is sort of what has to be understood, is that you will not always have the progress that you expect to have uh, simply due to the fact that there are always things when you get to a project that will, will shift the reality from what you expected it to be to what it's going to be in terms of how far do you test the network out? How far do you t uh, deal with? Uh, well, we have uh, a mess to clean up. There's there another th number of things. We, after a couple of years of being in the wilderness, uh, sort of unattended, uh, things mess up, and they do have to be repaired. But they can't always be repaired at the pace you want to repair it at. So it does take a bit of time. And of course, I've got my air system on because uh, uh, there's not much air around us. So. Uh, it does cool things off. It does keep things uh, 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 comfortable. And that's what I'm sort of looking at now, but being comfortable more than anything else. And as I said, in the background, what happens here is that uh, this can be all adjusted in terms of the darkness. Uh, it can be adjusted within uh, uh, the editor, and so that's what's going to happen. Uh, I don't vlog when, if there's not an opportunity to vlog in, in this all weekend, because I've been up here since Friday. There hasn't been an opportunity to vlog. Things that's just sort of way things went is that there's no opportunity to vlog. Uh, I come up, I'm I'm, I'm exhausted, and there uh, uh, there's a whole village up here that, 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 that often come up on the weekend. So you spend time talking to people, 
you know, socializing and so on and so forth. Uh, in addition to doing the work that you need to get done. So I've got enough done so that the uh, trailer is now workable. It's now an environment that you can work in. Uh, the function, the functionality is there, but it's at a minimum. I'm going to have to keep coming back because I'm leaving uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, actually, I'm leaving in a few hours. I'm probably leaving in about 12 hours. I'll be heading back to Toronto. Uh, I do have to sit up, uh, look, look at my uh, communications options. Uh, it looks like this is the end of the road for Freedom. Uh, Freedom's network is not very strong up here, but the one that seems to be the best, that seems to function the best, is Bell Canada. So, uh, And their network is up here, full 4G, 5G, whatever I want is up here. So I think that's the route route that I'm going to go, and I'm going to go uh, the Bell Canada route. Uh, the prices are now such that uh, rather than having two services running concurrently, uh, I'll basically migrate over to Bell and then eventually drop off, uh, then eventually drop, um, uh, what's its name, um, I'll drop uh, Freedom Mobile. I don't want to, I want to support the, the, the sort of the smaller guy, the independent, but they haven't kept up with their network. They didn't sort of make their network accessibility in a manner that they could work, operate independently. They sort of uh, rolled the tails of other networks. And I do understand it is expensive to do that, but at the same time, uh, when you're doing research and you, and you need that communications uh, aspect of things, then it's gonna be a little difficult uh, for someone like myself, who's a small independent researcher, uh, to go with them because I don't want to spend that extra money. I want to be able to maximize the amount of money that I spend. I want to sort of opt optimize my, my finances so that I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck. And that's one of the necessities here. And it took, uh, this weekend was to experiment to see how Freedom Mobile would work. It's not uh, anything that I would be happy with. Uh, it didn't function the way I hoped it would function. I was able to get the the, the, the basics, the bare, bare necessity done. Uh, so, but it gives me an idea of where my data needs are. Uh, so far, the entire weekend, in terms of what I was actually needing to do, uh, and that's primarily the gaming, I was 14% uh, of one gigabyte, so, uh, in terms of your data cap. So, I have an idea of uh, a measure of what I'm going to look looking for when I get back to Toronto to start moving over to Bell. Uh, and uh, I also have uh, uh, some of the packing done. I cleaned out the fridge. And uh, it looks like things will be good to come back into the trailer once again. Uh, I'm looking for basically August 1st, that weekend there, uh, to come back up and do some more work up here. But anyway, this is how things are going. I'm not too sure how I'm going to end up dealing, uh, dealing with my uploads. Then, uh, the vlog should be more current. But it depends on when the vlogs are, are, are filmed, when they're when, and how they're edited. That that will, will really determine sort of what's going on. Currently, we're well. This, we're in July, July fourth, and we haven't even finished May yet in terms of the vlog. So, the the, the, the our life I cyborg alpha. The ride vlogs are, are are about a month up. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you. Uh, probably sometime tomorrow, maybe a little bit before I go on the road. I'll do another vlog up here and see how things go from there. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for now, and I will see you uh, when I see you.